So we get into test vending the motors on a Royal Merlin IV drink machine. Now these motors actually, over time, begin, begin to slow down or not function at all. And when they slow down, it means that the motor will be rotating, but it doesn't drop a product within that 15 second window that's required by the drop sensor. And so the machine will then flag that selection is sold out, but yet you still have product in there. So you're trying, well, why is that? Well, using a test spin mode on the control board actually allows you to do a visual test of the motors. So when I've troubleshooted these machines in the past, I've always done uh, two types of tests. I have what I call a load test and an unloaded test. Now a load test is when there's actually product in the column and the motor's having to rotate the cradle with the resistance of all the weight of the bottles or drinks in that column. This actually can cause the motor to stress or get it to slow down. And that's a perfect way to know if we are actually dropping products within the 15 second window for the drop sensor. Now the other test is going to be an unloaded test where there's no product in the column and the motors is free to turn and we can see if it stops within that 15 second window on that uh, for the control board. So to enter the test mode we're going to press the blue service mode button. Now on a Royal Merlin 4 that blue service mode button is about the size of the pencil eraser. So on this machine particularly it's on the upper left hand corner here on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and press that one time. And once I have that pressed, I am presented with cash on the display. Now I'm gonna keep the door slightly ajar to show you how I'm gonna navigate that. I'm gonna be using selection buttons one, two, and three to navigate. What I'm looking for is test, T-E-S-T. -E now on this display, because it's a seven segment LED display, the T's look funny. They look like broken E's or upside down F's. So that's the only way to make a T in a seven segment LED. So, you gotta kinda of look for it. So I've had people explain to me, it looks like a funny letter, an E, a five, and a funny letter, and I see that as T-E-S-T. -E so to get to that, I'm gonna press selection button one to navigate forward. Press button one until I find T-E-S-T -E on the display. There we are, T-E-S-T. -E now I'm gonna head and enter test mode by pressing selection button three. That's gonna be our top row middle button. I press that one time and I present it with CO1. That's short for column one. Now, when we're in test mode, we are physically testing the physical columns, actually testing the physical columns. Where we have 10 selection buttons on this machine, there's actually 12 physical columns with 12 physical motors. So when we're testing, we're testing the physical motors. Now I place some bottles into column three. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate forward to column three for our test. I'm gonna press selection button one, one time or two times until I get to CO3, column three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press the number three selection button to activate that. So let me go ahead and open the door a little bit so you can see, I'll stay in frame here, there we are. Now I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press selection button three and you're going to see that the uh, column three is going to rotate. Now, it doesn't matter what column we're on, we're always gonna be using selection button three to activate the column that's shown in the display. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and press selection button three, and you're gonna see that motor starts to turn, and the products are going to drop on the chute, stopping the vent. Now that, that was within good time. If we were actually to count that uh, to about between 15, you would see that that uh, motor would stop with before that 15 window or shut off timer actually activated. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the selection button three again and we're gonna count to 15. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the motor stopped and took eight seconds for that vent. So that actually is good set for Merlin four. Now, if I advance to our next column, so I'm gonna press selection button one, one time to move us to CO4. All right, and I've got CO4 on the display, and now I'm moving to the column to the left of three, and I'm gonna tap selection button three, and this is gonna be my unloaded test. So if I press selection button three, that motor is just going to roll. Now, I can, I'm listening to the motor right now, and I'm saying, okay, this sounds good and clean. It's, it's got a nice whine to it, and it's not grindy or anything like that, or whining anything, so that's good. So this is a way for you to test vent the machine with products in it or no products in it to see if you've got a weak or slow motor. For example, if you had a slow motor, that uh, motor would, on loaded test, would drop that bottle way outside that window, or it would rotate and the motor would shut off, the board would shut the motor off by the time it got to about 15 seconds, and if it didn't drop any product in that time, then you know you've got a weak motor, you're gonna need to replace it.